Welcome back to McPhee Ford, and today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford Edge ST line. So the Edge ST line is a brand new trim level introduced on the 21 model year. Pretty much it is a Edge SEL with the appearance of an Edge ST. So you see you do have still the same 2 liter EcoBoost engine as the regular SEL. It's just dressed up as an ST to give that nice visual aspect. Taking a look here at some of the new features on this, you do have your side skirt here, like off the ST, and you've got this nice badge here indicating that is in fact an ST line. Go ahead and open up the door here. You do have a lot of features. Intelligent Axo story handles with a remote entry keypad. You've got blind spot on your mirrors there as well. Taking a look at this door panel here, really, really nice red stitching on black. You've got your power locks, uh, window controls, power mirrors, and power windows. And you do have this nice big ST line scuff plate, looks really good. And then you've got these nice front leather bucket seats inside the interior. The interior here looks really, really good. You've got this nice big red and black theme stitching going on, looks really good. These seats are heated and power lumbar for both passenger and driver. You've got your fog lighting controls, headlights, and you've got dimming and trunk release and traction control. Getting on inside. You will notice you do have a giant 12 inch display here. This is new. Let's go ahead and start it up. Push button start, LED lighting of course, and you do have your same edge dashboard in front here. You've got the same navigation, entertainment, and phone on the right there, and on the left you've got different settings here for display mode, trip and fuel. You've got driver's assist in here with blind spot, cross traffic, adaptive cruise, driver's alert, lane keep assist, pre-collision rear park sway and much more, and you've got other vehicle settings such as my key and a display setup. Lane Keep Assist is on the steering wheel, and you've got these paddle shifters back here for sport mode. Adaptive cruise controls on the left here, hands-free and media controls on the right. Now this is probably sparking your interest. This is brand new to the edge for the 21 model year. You get this nice bigger display with Sync 4. Sync 4 has a lot in it. It's completely redesigned from Sync 3, as you can tell. Starting up in the corner here, you've got this nice edge icon. This is your main setting. Seeing this where you can go into your, all your settings, control sound uh, with your radio. You've got your occupancy and stuff like that. You've got radio settings in here. You can set preset rows and radio text. A phone list. If you do have a phone paired, you can control your phone calling. Vehicle settings such as rear occupant alert, onboard serial number, door keypad, rear view camera delay, and much more. And you've got general settings in here. This is where you can change your units and touchscreen beep, etc. You get display settings where you can set uh, your brightness and you can do your auto mode of the display. So you can actually set it to a dark mode if you like to. Set it to light for the purpose of this video. You do have your brightness in here and you can go ahead and activate a comm screen. Looks really good. This button up here has a few different buttons on it. You can go to radio, phone, navigation, Bluetooth audio, Android auto, Apple CarPlay, owner's manual, and notes. So if you're in your car, you need to take some notes on something. You can actually go ahead and draw whatever, save it, you can even make it full screen if you need a little bit more room. Really, really neat that Ford did that. Going up over to the navigation here, you've got a nice big navigation here on the split display, as you can tell. This is where you can go, you can pinpoint your vehicle, search in where to. This will bring up various other settings. You can type in a work, a home address, categories, recents, and saved. You've got your 3D mode in here, or 2D, whichever one you want to look at. Nice little settings button down here, you can uh, change different settings and parking and where am I settings as well. It even shows your elevation currently, which is really, really cool to see. Now moving away from that, you can open up your radio here. You've got nice little settings down here too. You've got various quick functions, so your phoning, phone pairing, Bluetooth audio, etc. And you've got climate control. Your climate control is an entire full screen here. This is where you can control your dual zone, your max AC, turn on your heated steering wheel, the way your air flows, and you can actually select on here what you want to activate just by tapping, which is really, really cool. You can turn off and on dual zone climate, and you've got your button on the side here. Go ahead and turn the heat up, or turn the AC on, same with over here. So your front passenger and rear passengers can all have different climates. Over here is your heated seats, and this is all dials now. No more buttons to put on settings, and you get a heated steering wheel there, and then your max defrosters as well. Really, really cool. Honestly, I I, uh, I think it's pretty neat. 
you've got auto, different auto functions in here as well. And then uh, you can just turn it all off if you don't want to use it at all. You can just simply close that just by going up to radio or anything like that. And now you've got your Sirius XM settings in here and so on and so forth. Really cool. You do have a camera button down here too. You can view the rear view camera. And you've got your max defroster button there. Skip, tune, and volume. Below that, you do have your wireless charging pad, two USB ports as well to charge some devices up front. And in your center console, you've got this nice carbon fiber section here. Uh, you've got various drive modes with sport enabled, and you've got electric parking brake as well. Two cup holders, really cool. And then up top, you do have a universal garage door opener. And then you've got these controls here for your twin panel moonroof, letting lots of light into the cabin of this Ford Edge. Coming out of the back of the Edge, you do have your nice little spoiler up there. Your rear park sensors are along the back bumper with your trailer hitch installed. The only badging on the back of here is just Edge. That's it. Nice little new placement there for the Ford Edge, of course. You get a rear view cam right below that. And then here is your trunk release. Press that button and the trunk will pop open for you. The edges are known for having a lot of trunk space. You've got this nice big rubber trunk mat here, as well as under storage. As you can see under here, you do have your cubbies and a spare tire. Of course, but you've got this nice big rubber mat here with some clamps and stuff. You also got a privacy cup. So if you have your cargo back there, you can actually pull that over so no one can go snoop in in your trunk, which is nice. And then on the left here, you do have a 12 volt outlet if you'd like to charge any devices. And you've got left and right seat controls. You press the right one, the seat falls flat, and then you can increase your storage greatly. To close the trunk, you just press the button up there, walk away, and the trunk will close for you. Now diving into the back seating area, you do have the same red stitching on the back here, matching the front. You've got these nice metal door handles, speakers on the doors. You've got rubber floor mats, which are really easy to clean. You've got the same leather seating and cloth seating here with the red stitching as up front. Looks really, really good. You do have a lot of storage back here, a lot of space. You've got nice cubbies here for your rear passengers. You've also got a compartment in here. For fans, you can actually adjust these for temperature-wise. You've got a smaller compartment down there, two USB ports, and a household plug down here, actually, so you can charge up all your devices for the back seat. And then you, in your center console here, you do have your leather armrest with built-in cup holders, so your passengers can hold their drinks nice and steady. And you get a nice view of this twin-panel moonroof, of course. And then coming up towards the front, you can see you do have your nice LED lighting system. High beams, low beams, and fog lights are all LED. You have this nice little splitter on the side here matching the Edge ST look. Same grill and everything, and you've got your active grill shutters in there as well. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford and take a look at this brand new Edge ST line. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.